Hey guys, what's up? I have got a new box that has arrived. It is a, the BAM box. I got introduced to this box by watching another YouTube channel here that does unboxings, Unboxing Rocks. If you're interested in checking them out or if you like watching other types of unboxing videos, I've included a link down below for them. But that's how I got introduced to the BAM box. In honor of Unboxing Rocks and Mix and Jay and Cyan. We're about to do the November BAM box. Let's do it. Okay, so the BAM box is geared for geekers. Geekers. I love that word. The BAM box is geared towards geeks and gamers with a bunch of different types of fandoms in mind. And typically what they offer is at least one custom autographed print in every box, which is really cool, especially if you're into things like comic book art, graphic novel art, uh, unique art pieces. This gives you an opportunity to kind of build your collection. But for this month, I was actually a little surprised at how thin it was compared to some of the unboxings that I've seen. So the theme for this month is adult cartoon, which I'll confess isn't really my thing. However, I do have family and friends who do enjoy adult cartoons. And so, in fact, I even um, got an extra box for my roommate for Christmas. So she'll have that. So I'm not worried about not finding a home for these things if they're, they don't really appeal to me. But I just couldn't wait. I needed to get in on on what the BAM box is and, and the fact that it offers very unique pieces. I wanted to jump in on that. So anyway, so let's get into it and see what is inside. So one of the things that I had gotten used to with watching the BAM box was that when you would open it up, there would be a flap covering everything and a pin, a custom pin on top. And I don't know if it's because of the size of the box or what, but they don't have that this time. It's just tissue paper covering things up. So I'm going to kind of go in here a little bit randomly and let's see what we have here this time. So lifting up the tissue. And the first thing that I'm coming across is actually I forgot two things. So let's. Okay, so the first thing that we have is a Betty Boop comic book, and it is signed. It is a BAM box exclusive, which means that you're not going to find it anywhere else, which is really cool. Okay, and here is the Certificate of Authenticity, which is really cool. It's the, uh, it's to authenticate that the co this copy of... Betty Boop number two is a BAM box exclusive color edition. Next thing we have is a metal sign of Homer Simpson. That's funny. Crazy people are more fun. So that's actually kind of really cool. I, again, I'm not, I'm not an adult cartoon fan. The Simpsons are kind of about what I know. But this could be appropriate for a lot of people that I know. So even if this doesn't stay with me, I know this is going to find a good home. So next up we have, oh, we have the pin. So in every band box, apparently there is a pin that is custom made for them that goes with the theme. And typically there are like three or four different options that end up showing up in different boxes. So it looks like I got Cartman from South Park. Looks like it's a really good quality pin too. It's got the double post on the back. So I got, okay, I got another signed art print. That's kind of cool. That looks like it is number 1166 out of 2000. So honestly, with me and my lack of um, adult cartoon knowledge, the fact that I got Simpsons and Beavis and Butthead, which is about the extent of my knowledge, I mean, even South Park I know very little about, 
I know more about what I hear from other people than actually about it itself. But the fact that I got those two, um, Simpsons and Beavis and Butthead, that's kind of more my speed, I guess. I don't know. But that's really, really cool. Very cool art. I got a autographed print of, I don't know who this is. So maybe the little cheat book will tell me. Uh, it looks like somebody who is dressed up as Jessica Rabbit based off of the thing and it's signed by her. I think it says her name is Krista. I don't really know. Um, so either there's some sort of live action who framed Roger Rabbit that I'm not aware of and this is her or maybe this is like a cosplay something. Um, I don't know, but the cheat book is the next thing up, so we'll find out what that is. Uh, but still, that's, you know, considering the fact that this isn't my theme, so to speak, um, I did get a pin that I really liked, I got the metal sign, which I really liked, and I got three autographed items, so that's pretty impressive, even for a theme that I don't really, I'm not really invested in, so... That makes me really excited to see what's coming for some themes that I am really invested in. So anyway, let's take a look and see the inside of the box is all different kinds of adult cartoon black and white images. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's see what, what could have been. So for the pins, the pins options were all from South Park. So it was um, Cartman in the shop and then Kenny and then Dead Kenny. I think I would have enjoyed having the Kenny pen, Kenny pin, but those the Kenny pins apparently were more limited, so most people are going to get Cartman or the Chef, and if I had to get one of those two, I'm fine with getting Cartman. Um, and then we also had the Homer Simpson sign, which everybody got. The Jessica Rabbit thing is from a cosplayer, and her name is Kristen Lanai. I think it's Lanai. Betty Boop comic. It looks like there was a variant where you could get a black and white version, but that was exclusive to Bambox was to have either version and it's signed. So that's really cool. Oh, for the print, um, apparently you could either get Bob's Burgers or the Beavis and Butthead. So the odds were in my favor for that one. I, I don't watch Bob's Burgers. I would have no frame of reference for that but the Beavis and Butthead was definitely the right choice for me, so yay. Oh, and apparently, okay, so I, again, since I don't know adult cartoons, I don't really know, so apparently in the middle is Rick and Morty, which I've heard of, but I don't know anything about, so it's Beavis and Butthead attacking Rick and Morty in this print, so for those of you who are fans of adult cartoons, you'll probably get even more of a kick out of that, but my verdict on this, again, adult cartoons isn't really my thing, but even so, even given that, I really actually like the items in here. I was a little worried I would be disappointed when I saw the size of the box because I've seen some really cool things come out of boxes before, and so, you know, I was kind of thinking, oh, I'm not going to get any kinds of, you know, figures or anything like that, but considering the fact that even this isn't even my genre, I'm actually still pleasantly surprised by the items. I don't necessarily know that I'm going to keep them all, but they are all really cool. I think my favorite of all of the things is going to be the Homer Simpson sign, because I can relate. Crazy people are more fun. I definitely agree. So this was actually a really cool thing, and I'm even more excited now about the next box, which is Legends and I'm not really sure what all is going to be in there, but considering Star Wars is coming out in December, um, I, I have a feeling that there's gonna be at least some something in there from that, so I'm actually really excited to see what's coming. So, anyway, that's the BAM box for November. Again, if you're interested in checking out BAM box, I'll have a link down below. If you'd like to check out Unboxing Rocks for other unboxing videos, including past BAM boxes, and some other geeker gamey geeker and some other geek and gaming typed boxes definitely check out unboxing rocks and 
on the off chance that Jay and Mix and Cyan have stumbled across this video, I just want to let you know that you guys, yes you, rock. Be sure to like and subscribe for more unboxing videos to come. We'll see you next time. Bye.